Alright, thank you guys for um, <clears throat> tuning in. I am going to show you how I make my stencils. Um, the very first thing we're going to go over is just what I use. I actually find images online, and right now what I'm preparing to do is a white crappy. Um, a buddy of mine actually sent me a picture. I don't have it saved anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it from scratch just to show you guys. So I'm going to grab one of these images and just convert it to a stencil or the stencil that I want to use just for the lines going down its body. Um, I actually have one already prepared, but I want to show you it from scratch. So I'm going to look to see if I could find one or if I could find the original that I went off of, that would be even better. Um, I can't find the original. So what I'm actually going to do is just use this for, mm, no, I'm not. That doesn't look too good. Um, I usually, I usually would use a realistic image. Um, my buddy, like I said, he has a picture he sent me, but I don't have it anymore. Well, I don't have it on my computer anymore. So I'm just trying to find one that I would like to use. I'm gonna change out the word detail. Go to white crappy. Let's see what we can find. I'm gonna just use this one just to get started. Waiting for it to load clear. If it's going to load clear, doesn't look like any of these are going to load how I want them to. I'm going to go with this one for now. Pull it into Photoshop. As you can see, I already have a start of one that I'm going to do. I'm going to make it bigger. Make sure that the image is in black and gray. And then I am going to change the levels just so that I can get more of the darkness of the lines going along its body. There we go. Just want to get those levels. I also have a circle uh, stencil. I don't have it with me. I actually ordered it off of Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description for the little fine circles. Because I don't have my laser cutter here. I am actually going to use the Silhouette Cameo. So I'm going to just delete some of this unnecessary stuff real quick. And I also don't want all of that jet black along his back. I don't think. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna change the levels one more time just to get rid of some of that unnecessary stuff that the uh, First time levels didn't remove. And I'm gonna hit okay. I am gonna change the size of this real, actually no. I'm not going to change the size of it just yet. I am going to select it just to make sure that I get just this little area. Cut it out. Delete that layer. Repost it or repaste. If you know a little bit about Photoshop, this would be a breeze. If you do not know anything about Photoshop, I recommend you going to a couple of YouTube videos and just watching 
how to change the levels of images. Well, this is my original image. This is actually from my buddy. I'm going to remove these two real quick and show you that's from my buddy. I'm not going to cut that out right now and try to show you guys how to actually pluck all of those little fine details. Not tonight, but I am going to do actually I'm going to do this one. But now that I have showed you guys this one, I'm not going to cut that one. I'm going to cut this one down here. This is just the back end. Originally, I was going to show you guys this one up top. I'm going to blow it up just a little bit. I'm going to print these out just to check the size. Um, I don't think I want all of that black here. Because what happens is when I go to cut this out, all of that's going to actually be cut out. So I'm going to actually use this one. I use Photoshop Illustrator and then I take it into the silhouette program. And the reason being is Photoshop is to get rid of all the unnecessary stuff that I don't want. Illustrator turns this into more of a vector shape. Let me make sure I have. And then I can also, once I'm done here in Photoshop, I'm going to literally just pull this into Illustrator. Drop it in, and I am going to live trace this real quick. And what it's going to do is it's going to get rid of all of these little fine circle and dots in here that I don't need. Okay, so I got rid of most of them. I am going to now expand after hitting live trace. And it has converted it to where I can make it into an outline. But in this case, I don't want an outline. I just want to get rid of that white and I'm not going to go in here and waste my time right now clicking on all of these little dots just to get rid of them. I'm going to actually leave them for now. And now that that part is done, I'm going to print out just one. I'm going to print out just a regular on a regular piece of paper to check the size of it and if I like the size then I'll make the stencil all right The stencil paper I am using, I completely. F All right, so this is actually kind of big. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick with it, though. The stencil paper that I am actually using, it begins with an M. I can't think of the name of it. OK, so I haven't figured out the name of the stencil stuff. I bought it a while ago. It's probably about three, four years, maybe a little bit longer than that. And I bought a roll of it. I don't remember the name, but once I figure out the name, I'll put it in the description or I'm going to actually put it on the actual. I'm going to put it in the video. So while the video is running, it will be across the bottom. The name of the actual stencil stuff is this stuff here. Uh, you peel this backing off and you stick it on. to one of those sheets that comes with your silhouette or your Cricut or whatever you're using. If you're not using a laser cutter, this is what you'll be using. A Cricut or Silhouette Cameo. So, I'm just gonna do this step real quick and put this on here so that we can make our stencil real quick. All right, so I'm gonna make sure it's good and st sticky. And 
now that I got the size that I want, I'm gonna turn this on. Put it back in my computer. I'm gonna load this up. Ready to ready to cut. I am now going to import this. Well, I'm actually I'm I'm going to export it into a PNG or a TIFF. I just find. Stencil folder. I'm gonna call it crappy YouTube just so that I can find it quickly. All right, so now that I have created a PNG, I am going to now go into the program that comes with Silhouettes called Silhouette Studio Design. File, open. These are some of the actual stencils that I bought from Insane Customs that I used. Okay, hopefully those little white spots don't cause me an issue. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make them. All right, so now that we're in the Silhouette program, I need to go to the trace. Select the area, select the tracing area you're going to go clean over it and it's going to make a yellow completely over it. You do not want that. What you actually want is just a trace and it turns it into a red versus a solid yellow. You just want to trace just the outline basically. Pull it down. That's the actual PNG file slide it off the screen because you don't want that to read you want this to read prepare to send it and then you'll get a list of different material types that you want the one you want to use is the stencil one there's a stencil material, and then I, I custom made one myself, white stencil paper. But this stencil material actually works pretty well. Okay, so now that it is squared away, you want to hit next. Well, first, just make sure that it matches up. On here, those little blocks are actually the little blocks. I'm going to unload this real quick so you can see it. It's the little blocks that's on here to let you know. And if you look across the top, it has a number. One, two, three, four, five, six to 12. Uh, it's 12 by 12 square. I'm gonna reload this back in. Make sure you just put it to the edge. Make sure this don't put it directly to the edge. Put it in the first square or maybe the second square just to be safe so that you don't cut what you don't want. Or you end up cutting with the silhouette off the screen. But as long as it's inside this square, you're fine. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is just hit next. You're gonna look at all your details. All of this stuff's already set up. It comes preset because 
of the one that you picked. Then we're going to go to next. It's telling you to turn it to six, but because depending on which machine you have, depending on what program you have, the Silhouette Studio Design Designer Edition already has everything preset, so you don't have to do any adjusting. It adjusts everything for you once you pick the actual material type that you want to do. Hit start. I'm direct connected. I'm not Bluetooth. Hit start, and it's going to auto set itself. Here we go. That is adjusting the actual cutter. So my cut time is one minute and 42 seconds. If you could see that. It is cutting it out now. The actual stencil stuff that this is called, it's called Myler, Myler. I might be saying it wrong. So it's making all the little small cuts that is needed. Or all them little tiny circles that it's doing is not needed. So this is pretty big, so it's going on a swim bait. Less than 20 seconds, it's saying. Okay, that is done. That is the top part of the crappy and how I make a stencil. I'm going to also peel it off, pluck it, show you guys how it looks. Final, the final steps. Okay, so I'm gonna unload this, cut it off or peel it off. And that was a perfect cut because when I try to peel it off, it is coming or it's sticking to the actual silhouette fume. And then I completely forgot that I may have a, I do, perfect. I believe I forgot this was down here. I hadn't used this in a while. All right. So now I'm going to pluck out. Actually. Yeah, I'm going to actually pluck out my stencil. Tweezers are needed. I'll just grab it with the tweezers and get around the edges. I don't need all of those little shimmies on the inside, those little circles that it picked up. And because I'm doing this for the YouTube channel or showing you guys, I'm not, I didn't take the time out to clean all of that up. It's kind of unnecessary at the moment. This is for anybody who wants to get into 
making their own custom stencils and not keep using blue tape or I don't know why I'm trying to save this part. <laughs> it is not needed. The part that I should be trying to save. All right, so that part's done. Stencil is complete. I personally won't be using this one. Maybe, maybe not. The other one that I showed you originally is the one that I'm going to really take my time and cut or really make sure that it uh that it uh is ready to go with all the scale patterns that I actually want. This was just to show you guys how I make my stencils. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and have a good night.